Hey, once again, this morning we're joined by Melissa Kreitz, who is the College Credit Plus Program Coordinator. That's a mouthful, Melissa. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You can probably say that uh, more quickly and better than I can. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and, and it's good to have you along this morning, of course. And uh, tell us about College Credit Plus at Kent State Tuscarawas, because I feel like this has been expanding and growing and probably still is. Is that right? It sure is. Um, the College Credit Plus program uh, was established by the state of Ohio and um, is governed by the state of Ohio to allow students uh, in 7th through 12th grades um, to take college-level classes while they're still in high school. They can earn both high school and college credit uh, at no expense to them. So it's a great opportunity uh, for middle and high school students to um, not only earn that college credit, um, but gain some experience uh, in the college classroom. Well, that's true. And uh, does that include the college virtual classroom at this point? It sure does. Um, there aren't many classes happening in person um, this semester, and so most of our CCP and traditional students as well are taking their classes um, either remotely, uh, where they still have their scheduled class times, but they tune in via Zoom or Blackboard, um, or they are taking them fully online. Okay. How does a student um, who thinks they could be interested in taking a college class, how do they get involved with that? You just don't pop up one day and go, well, I'm here. Um, do, you, do you get uh, make contact at your home school first? Right. So, yeah, there's um, definitely um, an important process and some pretty strict deadlines that students need to be aware of. So, yeah, first, um, students should talk to um, the school counselor at their high school or middle school to get information from them. Um, many high schools are hosting virtual CCP information sessions this year. There is some paperwork that students need to do at the high school in order to declare their interest in the program. And then they also need to um, check out the presentation that I have posted on our website. Um, there's a presentation that's a little under an hour that goes through um, all of the detailed information about the program and how to apply. Our application is online. Uh, it is on our website now, and for summer admission, students can apply through April 15th, and for next fall, they can apply through June 1st. So they would need to do that online application. They would also need to have their high school send us um, their transcript. And then we do need test scores as well, either from the ACT, SAT, or our own on-campus AccuPlacer test. The state has established uh, some criteria that we need to follow um, to determine that a student is really uh, college ready. And so uh, that's why we need those test scores as well. Right. And that would apply especially to, um, you know, 7th through 10th grade, I would suppose, who may not have taken the ACT or SAT, right? Right. Um, students of that age are certainly uh, welcome and able to take the ACT, uh, but if they haven't, we do have uh, that alternative test, the AccuPlacer, that we do here on our campus. Do you have any idea? Can you give us numbers on uh, how many uh, students maybe are currently in the CCP program or have been? Sure. You know, when I started working with this program uh, about 18 years ago, it was uh, referred to as post-secondary, mm -hmm. and there were somewhere around 50 students involved in the program. At this point, um, we are just under 400 students wow. um, from local high schools involved uh, in College Credit Plus here on our campus. And how far has uh, any particular student gotten in their college career before they have maybe left high school? Well, um, over the years, we have had several students who were able to complete a general associate degree uh, actually 
before they graduated from high school. So um, students who do that are typically full-time CCP students during their junior and senior years of high school. So they take all their classes with us. Of course, they can use those classes to fill their high school requirements, Mm -hmm. but they're also filling those requirements for that general associate degree, and uh, we can't really hand them the college diploma until they've actually graduated from high school, (laughs) but we do allow them in May uh, to participate in our graduation ceremony, and of course, um, that is an exciting experience uh, for the students and their families as well. you know, that kind of uh, course load is not necessarily uh, for every student. I have students who come and just take one class right. uh, each semester with us and keep the rest back at their high school. It just depends on uh, the student's uh, desire uh you know, and, and how much they want to um, commit to fully taking college classes, um, or you know, there are certainly students who want to remain uh, with their friends at the high school uh, for some of their classes and, and kind of uh, take a mixed load between the high school and the university. Sure, yeah, social is, uh, is important also. Let's touch a little bit on the, uh, the other title that you have with senior advisor. Um, this is an academic advisor. So what kind of uh, advice are you generally doling out to the students who are at Kent State Tuscarawas who are maybe, I don't know, needing a little direction, I guess? Right. So as an advisor, um, I work with students to explore um, the major that they are pursuing and um, to follow what we call the roadmap uh, for their major, which is basically um, helping them to make sure that they're staying on track with the requirements of their degree and um, are taking things according to their plan. So if if a student wants to graduate uh, with their degree in four years, we can lay things out and we meet each semester to make sure that they're staying on track uh, with that plan. And certainly with CCP students, uh, some of them come to us as you know, high school students knowing exactly what they want to do. Right. um, And we can... Uh, begin crafting that plan while they're still in high school. Uh, Some CCP students come really just wanting to explore uh, different subject areas they maybe aren't able to take at high school. And so, um, you know, we look to fulfill general requirements that would really apply to any degree, um, and they kind of work on their plan as, as they go along. Right, right. Well, as, and, uh, as people are listening and saying, you know, that, that does interest me. Again, best way to contact you or uh, get involved and uh, look into the CCC program would be what? Um, so at this point in time, the best way to reach me um, is by email, and that's M-A-Kreitz, M-A-C-R-I-T-E-S, at kent.edu. Uh, if Interested families visit our website, kent.edu forward slash Tusk, and go to our admissions page. They'll see College Credit Plus, and we have lots of information there, Um, not only the recorded presentation, which, of course, I would love to do that presentation in person, and (laughs) normally we do, and we get quite a crowd in the Performing Arts Center, uh, but obviously that's not possible this year, so we have recorded it and posted it um, to our website. Um, In addition to that presentation, we have a timeline for the application process. We have frequently asked questions. We have a list of discussion points for families um, to talk about kind of around their dining room table and also with their school counselors. We also have um, a link to a list of courses that students are allowed to take as CCP students. Um, They are restricted by the state in the beginning, Mm -hmm. Um, so we give them a list of, of courses that they might consider as a new CCP student. So there's just lots of information on that website. Well, there sure is, Melissa. Hey, thanks for your time and continued success. It sounds like you're a busy person. 
yes, <laughs> very. <laughs> Thanks for taking a little time with us today, then. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That is Melissa Kreitz. She is the College Credit Plus Program Coordinator and Senior Advisor at Kent State Tuscarawas. Our guest this morning on Tusk Talks on the 830 High Beam.